Hey Stampers, Gator again, and I thought I'd come back with a mail card for a change with this new set that is coming out, uh, well it's out today, um, it's called uh, Well Dressed, I think it's really cute, and for a freebie it's not bad at all, so I've picked black and white as my colour theme, and this is the card, it's quick, it's simple, it's easy to put out, I've got vellum, I've torn black, uh, you know, give it a mail theme and I've turned it into a happy birthday card love the black and white I always like black and white cards I stamped, I was hoping to get another one in but what I'm going to do this time on this one, stamp, stamp and then have the keys in the centre or may just have three watches going up, I don't know yet But um, the happy birthday comes from perennial birthday so happy birthday, wishing you the best on your special day absolutely love it and love the layering up of the black as well I just think it's really cute. The only one that didn't tear was this one. I wanted that to stand out nice and bold. And these are those metallic grey pearls. And all I did was use a permanent black marker to colour to it and stuck them on either side. I think it's absolutely adorable. So easy to make. So, quite a bit of card stock, but well worth it. You could do this in any colour you wanted. You could do it. For a lady in red or pink, you could do it in Mary Merlot, Knight and Navy, Grey Granite, um, whatever colour your gentleman and friend uh, wishes to have. So I've got a piece of Whisper White for the front, and I've just got some plain white cardstock for the inside of the card because we're only going to stamp that little message, and this is where you're going to write your messages as well. Uh, so those two pieces, they measure three and three quarters by five and a half. These two pieces of layering black are three and seven eighths, three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. No, are they? <laughs> okay, this forgot they already. Oh my goodness. These are, I want my knife. Yeah. Three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. I was right. <laughs> Never mind, we'll get there in the end. I've got my permanent black marker again, which I'm just going to colour two of these lovely pearls. Yeah, if the gentleman you're sending it to likes green, you can do it green, any of the blues, brilliant. Just love it so. You've got gold and silver, so I've coloured the silver ones. I've got my card base, which is eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, and I'm going to just gonna fold and score this at four and one eighth. I'm going to give that a good burnish down. I've got a piece of vellum, it's roughly about two inches, and this is slightly uh, bigger, but we can tear this down so we can just just see it. Poking, and I've layered each piece on dimensionals to give it a bit of depth because it's such a flat card you want that dimension from your sentiment so again this is about two inches maybe just a two and a quarter but we're going to tear these and the vellum this piece then is three quarters sorry no seven eighths by three and three quarters because I want that little gap either side I don't want it come right to the end I just want that little gap either side. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to layer these two inside and out. Nice thick black cardstock. This is what I like this from the range. I think it's 210 GSM. 50 sheets for 4 99 And it's really thick quality. So you want one for the front. nice and straight just make sure that comes over a little bit that's about it just miss this corner and then one for the inside you can do this now or you could layer it up when you've finished and then just attach everything but I want it to dry
Perfect. You could do it with the hat, the scarf, you could do it with the umbrella, the shoe. Uh, you could have chose anything out of here, out of this set. Uh, put that to one side. There's, I mean, there's no sentiment, so that's why I picked the perennial birthday. You've got the umbrella, the tie, the pen, the keys, the hat, the shoes. And I think that's a bit like a tread mark, I, I think it would be. But I've chose the watch and the keys because uh, who doesn't always lose the watch and who always forgets the keys so and you could also give the watch as a present so this is the piece that is going on the inside of the card so we'll concentrate on this first and all I'm using is black memento ink and I'm just going to stamp up that sentiment for the inside. Try and keep this nice and straight. Perfect. Got my cleaning cloth out. <coughs> Excuse me. That's nice and clean. And then I can stamp this little strip as well. This is Whisper White, and the birth, happy birthday fits on there, beautiful. Oh, that looks a bit stodgy. So I'm just placing it in the centre. Perfect, look at that, love it. Love it. Clean as we go along. Now I'm going to do the watch. Top. Bottom. Yeah, just that, that one out and then I'm going to do a roll of keys, just the keys. One. Two, three, there we go. I don't know why I'm clean, why I'm wiping them clean because they're going on the other card now, so that's better and it's cute. That's going on the inside. Now I'll get this piece of scrap because so we're just going to stamp this everywhere. No right or wrong way to do this. And then you can turn it around. Just swap directions. is really cute. Love this, look how quick it can be done as well. Perfect. There we go. Now we're just filling all the gaps with the key, with the little set of keys. They're so cute. Move them around in different positions as well. start filling all the gaps it's looking it's brilliant let's 
Again, you're making your own DSP, aren't you? If I had more watches on, mind you, it just looks just as just as cute. Oops, made a bit of a boo boo there. I think that's brilliant, absolutely brilliant to tell you that. doesn't matter which way round you have the card either. That's it, I think that's perfect. Oh, mind you, we could get one more in there. Love it, and then one more I'm just going to have in there. Perfect. Filling up the card, and that's how quick this is going to be. Beautiful card made on there. I love it. So again, with our glue, and then we're going to use dimensionals. I mean, if you wanted to use two pieces of whisper white, you could, but. For, for writing on, I think just a plain piece of white card's fabulous for this. Nice little border all round. So, I can't see anything that's wet, but what I'm going to do, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to blot it. No, doing all that work and then smearing something that is brilliant and then again this can go on the front can we get the sail away papers and the golf papers and but we don't get, really get a lot of uh, male designer series paper. So I thought, why not do your own background again, game? Get it on. And then what I thought, look, I'm not going to add ribbon because it's a man. I'm not going to add gems, really, because it's a man, a man. So that's why I coloured the pools. Just to highlight that happy birthday. So now, put this away now, because we don't need this anymore. Clean my nozzle. Perfect. Do a little bit of tear in there. So you can do. I want to try and keep as much of this vellum on as possible. So I'm only tearing little bits. Perfect. Just pull it towards you. Fabulous. Oops, drop that on the floor. Uh, so you're going to need a bunch of dimensionals. I'm staying away right from this edge and this edge because I don't want it to be seen. Oh, I don't want it there, I want it in the centre. So I'm only putting three on this one. I mean, you can put it towards the top, you can put it in the middle, you can put it down the bottom. That's entirely up to you. I just slightly offsetness of that, just not in the middle, but not all the way down. And this is cut at the same width as the card base, which is three and seven eighths. So again, I'm going to keep mine relatively low and then I'm just going to tear this and I want to check so I'm just going to go against just willy nilly like that, do not have to be perfect and then that's going to go over there brilliant, again I'm using dimensionals Check my 
battery. That's okay. And this again is three and seven eighths. Cute, and then we're going to pop this on dimensionals as well. So, what's that? Four, eight, eleven in total, but it's worth it. Or if you've got foam tape, I have, but I forgot about it till just. <laughs> And like I said, this does not go, this is just short, this is three and three quarters, so we've got a little gap at the bottom. Just let it drop until you think you've got it straight, but don't press yet. That's about it. Oh, that is fabulous. And now for our little pearls. Just sets that off, I think, without being over. Oh, let me see what I've got. Do you know what? Are they here? Or have I got them over there? Garage. Oh no, the, the, I put the classic garage and the sail away ones together. Look, you've got a little key. You could attach that. Or maybe tie some black baker's twine and just have it tuck it underneath and have it dangling down so they've got a little charm on there. So, oh, I want to do that. Yeah, I added them two together because I needed a little pot. So, put my clock away. My black baker's twine is in my little box over here. Oh. A little piece of black baker's twine. You don't need a knot, you just need enough to tie it through. I think that's about as much as you'll need. I'm just going to tighten a little double knot. Keep that in the centre if I can. Cut that off. Oops. Glue stuck to me. some glue or am I oh look there now in a minute now my little tape because this is uh, like a fibre it really is sticky so I'm gonna try my best to place it just under there Peel the back enough. Because that's on dimensionals, it won't stick. And then what I'm going to do is just going to thread that under and then press that down. Oh no, she's stuck. The card piece to it as well. There we go. Oops, that's the other one for the other one. And then you've got that little key charm hanging off the bottom. That is so sweet. I'm going to do that to this one as well. I'd help if I cut it. <laughs> <coughs> so I'm just going to pop that on there for a sec. She says, picking it up with 
my nail again I'm just going to pop this through I'm not going to use as much black this time mind you I'm going to be able to thread it Stick that down this time, just under this side. I'm not even going to take the back enough because you can't see it. And then you've got that little charm hanging off your card. I'll show it up now. So it's just dangling by there. Isn't that cute? I like that one as well, that's a little bit more, but you've got a little charm on there now as well. See, I do a card and then I think, oh look, I can add this, sorry about the camera, I'm just putting it straight. Look, add that and give an extra little bit of a dimension to it. That is absolutely adorable. And if you used, oh, what the hell? Oh, I don't know. I would use the key with the keys, but then I wouldn't use an anchor or whatever else was in that set, a little ship's wheel, because this doesn't represent anything on there. But look, just think what you could do now. You could get the best catch out and stamp the little basket everywhere. Oh, the cards are endless now for the gentleman. So I hope you like this card. I love it. I think it's stunning. And like I say, because we're doing the back like that, you need to add something to give it this card a bit of texture. I mean, it's not going to take much extra in a post. I mean, that will, it's, it's light as a feather, so maybe with the charm on that. But there you go. Oh, and look it up at that. I hope you liked it, because I think it's brilliant. There they are, my well-dressed male uh, birthday cards. And if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to press subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you so much for coming back all the time. I love you millions. Um, a thumbs up and a share, that would be fantastic too. Um, yeah, press, don't forget the little bell because I do post every single day. So come and see what I make tomorrow. I'm going to have so much fun with this set. Yay. <laughs> Take care now. Till next time. Bye.